Hello everyone, it's Spike Mike here to show you the 2014 Toyota Prius. This is trim three with the, well, as it's evident now, the sunroof package, sunroof and navigation package. I should, my fiance there waves outside the window. Uh, just give me an overview of it outside, inside really quick before I turn this car in. This is a lease, so I'm gonna ride this car today to show you yeah. on the outside and this is I'm gonna show you without the summer open but somebody wanted to open to get some uh, air it is all the way around this is a hybrid as are all Priuses it's labeled as a mid-size I mean people think this, it's a compact but it's actually labeled as a mid-size it's small, looks small on the outside, but very, very roomy on the inside. So, um, side mirrors fold in too. I'm gonna try and get it. Uh, what else? Okay, that's the outside. Everyone knows the outside. I don't think these lights might be LEDs on the back. I don't think so, though. On the inside, really quick. If you don't mind the towels, we just came from the water park. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh yeah, show them the thing. So that's that. That's the back, very roomy. Very deceiving from the back. It's actually very roomy in the back. And I'm gonna show you the trunk real quick. You just right under the symbol there, there's a little membrane thing. Just lift that up. Is the trunk very spacious? Is that that's kind of the cover? There's actually storage underneath, too. Let me real quick out. Oops, holding the camera and doing this. Just unlock the storage. There you go. It turns out she's got her bag under there for right now. And then you drive a spare tire underneath that. That's cool. And the seats do fold down, of course. Every seat folds down. I'll have to show you that. You can see that anywhere. So the inside, and this one's just like parked right here. Nice interior. Dual glove compartment. So I'll show you. On the bottom and on top. Look at that. So you got a lot of space to work with. Cool. Got your center screen there and your, the, you know, the, uh, Miles per hour and all that stuff. That's the center. Is your door open? Yeah. Why is the little thing on? Oh, maybe it is. Unless the trunk is open. Maybe the trunk is open. I'll check it. Sorry, I'm sorry. That, and you have a little charging port in there too. There's a little USB connection. There you go. Two cup holders. And then you got this thing in the center, and then you got even got storage underneath. With um, an adapter, car adapter. Uh, turn the car on, hit the brake, hit the power button. It is engine push start. That comes on. Prius, hi, welcome. Everything's strobing over there because LEDs, yeah. Oh, there's a radio. This does have an HD radio. HD is not great, cuts in and out sometimes. <laughs> Uh, AC, we have, we have auto climate control here. It's alright, I don't like that. What are we doing now? You got the cabin filter too, that filters out stuff. Uh, park, you have shifter, drive, you know, drive, neutral, neutral at the hold down, reverse. Does the beep and does have the backup camera. Can't see it that great in the video, but it's there. And they had the brake assist, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Get your driving modes, the EV, if you want to do electric only, that's under 25 miles an hour in a parking lot usually, that's under certain weather conditions too, whatever it is, the engine has to be at the right temperature and all that stuff. Eco, which is what I always drive in, stays on AC, cuts down the power on the engine to give you more fuel more, more fuel efficiency, there you go, that's a tongue twister. And they add your power for like highway or, you know, going uphill. It basically 
that your car basically drives like a regular car because it's drives slower than a regular car, but it's more fuel efficient, so why not? It's 50, 50 miles MPG. Uh, daytime running lights I have on right now. The headlights, all that stuff. And then this comes with the summer, so there's this button. If you actually, let me go outside real quick again. If you look on top of here, oh, that's why I do have my back. <laughs> I do have the trunk open. Not bad. Wide open. Uh, if you like uh, under here, under the sunroof, there's this. This is a solar panel. So when the car is off, you press that button, and your car's vents, ventilation system will will turn on, and it'll keep the car running cooler. It's not going to be cold, but it'll be cool. It's like having the vents on all day, and it doesn't use any car power. It just uses solar power. So there's that. Show you the navigation too. Have the maps on here. Make glare on the screen. I can do it like that. Loading map. There's the map. Cool, you put in your destination. No destinations are now. I'll take them all off, but put in your destination. And all that wonderful stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, let me see anything. All the windows are auto, so you just have to pull, push down once, and it'll go automatically. All that stuff. The back view is, I say this all the time, the back view is actually nice. People complain about the bar being in the back view mirror like that, but I actually kind of like it because with headlights at night, keeps the lights out of your eyes if you're looking through the back of your mirror so I kind of like that that's me some people don't like it they said there's a obstruction in their back view when they're doing that but I like it it's a wide open view back there too uh, so I mean the shifters a little, people talk about the shifters this Chris has a unique shifter but just flick like that that's it and a try parking brake and then you have the emergency brake over there too foot pedal your dimmer, all that stuff. Oh. It's a good car, very nice car. Oh, you have your all your toggles on here. It'll show up on there when you hit the thing. Let's see when you're driving. They don't do anything when you're prices. Uh, your Bluetooth and all that stuff. You can change the volume, change the stations. Well, change AM, FM, set, uh, XM satellite if you have that, and your uh, presets. And then your temperatures, display that changes your you know system indicators and stuff up there trip just odometer trips and remaining and remaining miles that you need more gas and that's about it bluetooth you know car all that stuff there's no took my phone off of this thing now very nice nice car too bad they don't make this one anymore mm -hmm. but very nice. Am I forgetting anything? I don't know. Oh yeah, that little vent back, that's for the battery, the electric motor. That, that's in the back seat, behind the back seat, so it saves room. That little vent is to keep from overheating. So, the good thing about this car has a lot of trunk space. A lot of cargo, a lot of cargo volume and a lot of trunk space. Very nice. Well, yeah. thanks for watching. Maybe one day you can finance a, a 2014 Prius. Even the 2010s is basically the same thing. But, yeah, it's nice. Sunroof controls. And doo -doo -doo. She's like, wait, are you closing this on me? <laughs> it's like 99 yeah. degrees outside. Yep. That's it. Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.